In this demo, we will look at potentially unwanted program, a highly sophisticated remote desktop application, such as a TeamViewer, that could be brought into work by employees in a way that is unauthorized. And so first we will look at how we deal with it in an authorized case. And later on, we'll address the case of a legitimate use. But in general, it would suffice to say that um, potentially unwanted programs are programs that could hinder the overall uh, host uh, security posture. And by that, we would want to limit or mitigate this chance. Having a, an agent that is capable of doing both behavior and static analysis and defalent and reputation is highly desirable in stopping this uh, potentially unwanted program very early on. In this demo, we will only look at the deep file inspection, but we will mention a couple of behavioral use cases during this demo as well. In the case of TeamViewer, it's not necessarily good or bad, but we will look at it just because it allows a potentially third party who's probably unauthorized to control an endpoint, take, send or receive files, or act on behalf of a, on a already authorized user, a encrypted channel that um, hinder existing security measures from seeing or uh, noticing this uh, ever occurring. Through the Sentinel-1 console, you can easily see that there are, po it's possible to create multiple custom policies for a, a different use case and by that differentiate between, let's say, IT staff from regular staff. And within this policy, you can adjust the level of risk that you are willing to take, meaning you can respond with a, a, a protect and detect for suspicious or threats activity. Further on, it is possible as a way of distinguishing between different users within this custom policy to say, I would like to exclude or handle specific a case in our demo, we will treat the uh, team viewer as, uh, as an example later. Let us look at the end user experience. So the user went online and took a team viewer. It could be that it brought the installed package from the internet, we really dive matter, and he tries to install. So the installation wizard follows the usual route. And at the moment, the user is asked to install and files are being written into the host machine. Our agent immediately notices the uh, funny behavior behind the scene that they has done. And as you can see, the installation is blocked the files that were dropped. Back at the management console, I can quickly go from the dashboard, look at the endpoint and deep dive into the uh, forensic detail that the agent is telling me. In this, I can also see the protect protect where the uh, hidden de demon process was killed and the executable was uh, in quarantine. I can see that the, due to the automatic policy, the issue is resolved since the uh, potentially unwanted program can no longer run. And uh, in addition, I can control from a addition, I can have additional control if I want to override, overrule the automatic settings. In the details pane, we will refer to them later on uh, as a way of uh, injecting a additional knowledge into the a, a policy to exclude in VR back. In the console, from the settings menu, I can create different set of exclusion rules using signer, file, folder, and so on. Those would allow me to whitelist a specific file, a vendor, or anything 
that come uh, that resides within a specific folder.